Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Tyrell. I'm the Senior Food Editor at Martha Stewart Living. And um, today I am going to share with you a very, very, very fast, simple recipe. Just has a couple ingredients. Um, it's my baby. <laughs> um, we are all home, I think, or a lot of us are home right now and having to make three meals a day for our families and it's very challenging. So I wanted to share with you one of my favorite recipes from the archive. It's super fast, very easy. And let's get going. Okay, so for this recipe, um, part of why I like it so much is it's very minimal ingredients and I'm trying not to shop too much right now, so I like things like this. Um, but every ingredient has a lot of flavor in it. So I have four cups, roughly, I don't know how much this is, but I have four, about four cups of cooked white rice. This is left over from my dinner last night, um, cold. Uh, this is gochujang, which is a Korean fermented chili paste. If you don't have this, it's delicious, but if you don't have it, um, you could substitute with a little bit of sriracha or sambal, olek, or just leave it out. Uh, three cloves of garlic minced, a couple scallions finely sliced, and of course kimchi. This is about a cup and a half, maybe a little bit more of kimchi, which is a really great thing to have. Has tons of flavor, it's really good for you. Lots of veggies packed in. So I have a large cast iron skillet that I need to get very, very hot. Uh, with fried rice in general or stir fries, you want it to happen really, really quickly so you get your pan super, super hot cook things fast, so it's important also to have all of your ingredients ready. So a way to know if your pan is hot enough is you can um, take like a little drop of water, pour it in. It should like skitter across the surface. That's when you know that your pan is super, super hot and ready for stir fry. It's not quite there yet, so give it another second. In the meantime, I am going to slice scallion greens and this is a very fancy way to do it that you don't need to do, but I like to do them on kind of a bias like that. And then we can finish our plate with these. But even though I'm home and have, in theory, all the time in the world, a lot of us are juggling a lot of things right now, like homeschooling with our kids and working from home and you know just dealing with the day-to-day -day of this new world order so I think it's nice to have some recipes that um, you can throw together really fast that don't right now cooking should bring everybody joy and not added stress to their lives so that's what I hope this recipe does okay that's hot enough you can hear it sizzling so, uh, okay, so we're gonna saute the aromatics, the garlic and the scallion in about a tablespoon of oil. And this is gonna happen very quickly. You hear the sound, that means that it's hot, it's ready to go. This will probably take about 30 seconds. You just wanna be able to, it, everything should be fragrant, not browning. And you know, if you have brown rice, you can do this with cooked brown rice. You can even do it with like other random grains. Quinoa might be good. This is very fragrant. I'm just gonna give it like 10 more seconds. And this kimchi that I'm gonna add next, I, I took it out of the jar and I chopped it a little bit just to make it nicer to eat. I'm gonna add that now. I'm gonna try and hold back some of this juice so it doesn't get too wet. Again, this is just to like, you're not really cooking the kimchi, you're just heating it through. And then to that, I'm adding my rice. Oh, I forgot my goju chain. I'm gonna add that too. Two tablespoons of goji chain. If you're using something like sambal um, or sriracha, I would do less. I'm gonna break that goju chain up. I should have done that with the kimchi, but it's fine. This is a forgiving recipe. Let this cook just for a minute on, uh, on 
undisturbed. So I'm gonna spread it out. I'm gonna season it. And then I'm gonna just let it, I'm gonna kinda go like this and spread it out and not touch it for a couple, maybe like a minute. And that'll give it a little bit of like a crispy bottom, which will be good. And then it'll be ready to eat. That took like basically no time at all. Okay, so I forgot two kind of important ingredients. Um, I was doing it off memory, but this, ri this rice also gets, just for extra flavor, about a tablespoon of sesame oil. So I'm just gonna add that now. And um, also a couple teaspoons of soy sauce. And then also, I'm just gonna fry my eggs for me and my husband, I don't think my kids will eat the eggs, but um, I'm gonna fry two eggs in this same pan. I just pushed the rice over to one side. I'm gonna add some oil and then crack eggs right there. And I'm gonna add actually a little bit of sesame oil to that oil too, so that the egg gets flavored. And again, I kind of want the rice to get a little bit of a crust, so um, I don't mind that it's still cooking on the bottom. And once those are cooked, I'm going to uh, top this with a little bit of scallions and a little bit of nori, which I have on my plate there. And that will be that. All right, so I'm just going to add my egg, a little bit of scallion, a little bit of toasted nori, which obviously if you don't have, it's totally optional. And this is not in the recipe, but I'm also going to add, I don't think it's in the recipe, I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro. And some toasted sesame seeds. And there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoy. If you make this and you like it, or you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments and